Hello all, my name is Anil Bajpi and you are welcome on Education Tatwa. This platform I created recently to interact with you all. So with my 13 years experience in IT industry, I thought to like share my experience uh, which is more inclined towards the development and I have seen like so many folks are asking and discussing on uh, YouTube or some other blogging platform. So uh, I, I think this is a nice platform to interact with and uh, i'll try to like host my uh, recent videos and uh, sub some of the upcoming videos that i'll learn on new technologies i'll keep posting it here so this time i picked up flowable as the topic for today and uh, to talk about flowable let me give you a background uh, about my experience so i've been working on oracle bpm platform since some time i implemented some end-to-end -end solution there but Oracle BPM, as you know, like it's a licensed version of the software and then uh, some of the companies or the startup may not afford that or may not uh, want to go to that route. So there are alternate uh, of Oracle BPMs are available in the market like Pega BPM. There is uh, another BPM like uh, Activity J BPM, which are like the open source community. So Flowable in 2016 forked out of Activity BPM and they are standing good in the market. They are providing services to the multiple clients and their product is well received in multiple forums and in multiple companies. So in this uh, course, uh, what I'm planning to do here, I'm just planning to create a playlist of multiple videos where I'll be taking you through all the different concept of uh, whether we talk about open source or the enterprise version of Flowable. So let's have a look on the course introduction side. So on the course introduction side, first thing that I want to take your attention towards, what is the course goal or what are the objectives of this course? So here we will learn as a student or as a viewer to this YouTube video, you will see that what is flowable, why flowable? So what is flowable I briefly talked about, but I'll cover this in detail. Then why flowable? Is it suitable for your organization or it is suitable for you as a student or a practitioner to learn more around it? Then uh, if, if you are a newcomer to the BPM world, I'll also be explaining what is BPMN, which is business process management notation. We will also be discussing the new concept uh, which I didn't hear back while working on the Oracle BPM side, uh, the case management or the CMMN. And then we will also go through uh, the decision management. So in other uh, products like in IBM, it is known as IBM ODM and uh, Oracle, it is known as BRMS. So we will be also touching base uh, to this DMN concept as well. Then which is the most important what is the difference between open source and enterprise i'll covering both of them in detail in the upcoming series of uh, this lecture then the last point that i'll be covering not last basically there are some other things which i'll be covering in addition to the course objective mentioned here so i'll be covering like how to integrate with the spring boot so so there are prerequisites. So if you are watching this video, you need to make sure that uh, you are good in Java and Spring Boot. Um, maybe I, what I'll do, I'll just provide a link to read through or brush up your knowledge on the Spring Boot uh, in the comment section or uh, maybe in the description of this video. So taking you ahead, what I'm planning to cover is I'm planning to cover enterprise, enterprise overview and enterprise overview. There are different sections that I'm planning to cover like a different component of enterprise version of flowable hands on on the demo application that is that is the important point because uh, what i feel if if you are practicing more hands on so that's where you learn better and then we will be taking this to a next level we'll be learning some advanced concept uh, while exploring it and then we will also talk about how the other components are put together and how you can visualize and implementing in a real world scenario. So which is important part because after learning, you want to take this learning to implement the solution. Then we will also talk about event streams 
where how to configure kafka rabbit mq or the jms which uh, which which are categorized more like the advanced topic and then yes for uh, because presentation i believe is the key for any software development so we will be covering how to customize the user interface and that is very quickly and then we will be covering the troubleshooting part in the enterprise version so it will start from the installation we will go through the enterprise and then on the open source overview we will talk about different component of open source version of flowable so as you know like this uh, any bpm comes with a lot of product or the individual modules same is the case with flowable as well we will be covering different components in enterprise version as well as well in, in the open source so and also uh, we will be showcasing like how to configure this on the eclipse then we will be covering with one hands on application uh, and then we will be covering the last topic on the open source uh, overview as ldap integration right because that is also very important part how to onboard your users if there are centrally managed repositories or system like i am like ldap uh, active directory and so on so you should be able to leverage that uh, existing platform and utilize this application then uh, we will be covering a spring boot integration where we will show you how to set up the spring boot project if you have uh, prior knowledge of spring boot it's good otherwise we will be covering each and everything in detail so that you will not miss and you will not find yourself left uh, if you don't have prior understanding of spring boot then we will be also talking about spring boot integration with flowable that is again a very important and advanced topic and it will help you to manage your code uh, better then uh, i'll also uh, quickly talk about docker based installation where i'll be setting up the docker and uh, we will be doing the docker based installation for making your open source version of flowable up and running so if you're thinking that docker is something that you have you have not used so far don't worry i'll take care of that i'll show you how to set up uh, the docker on your uh, windows machine and then i'll be uh, taking you through how to uh, utilize that image to make your environment up and running so overall if you follow this program you will see that there are a lot of advanced topic that i'll be covering you will have complete understanding of open source and enterprise versions and what are the key functionalities available uh, in there and then uh, with few concepts like spring boot and docker you will also uh, be like a, a bit little familiar with these uh, topics if you have not worked upon it earlier so make sure that it should be like a, a good understanding and the knowledge exercise for you what you need to do you need to follow and subscribe to this channel and then whenever i'm posting a video you should provide your comments in the feedback in the comment section and also i would request you all to follow me on the hands-on because that is something the key part of this uh, overall program so happy learning thank you